The tactics of counter-messaging terrorist organizations are nothing new. But there's added significance with an enemy like ISIS. According to the FBI, ISIS is more adept at using the internet and social media to spread their ideology than any other terrorist organization. And as they've worked to expand their reach globally, they have emerged in unexpected places. Only 1,600 miles from the coast of Florida sits a small island nation that has produced more ISIS recruits per capita than anywhere else in the Western Hemisphere. The threat from ISIS is closer to home than we think. Is the threat of paramilitary group ISIS being brought closer to the Caribbean? Trinidad has become one of the most dangerous countries in the Caribbean. About 80 persons who have left Trinidad and Tobago, I know them and come into contact with them at some point in time. Um, I started distributing DVDs and encouraging people to join with ISIS. All right, so these are some of the videos that um, we were sought to distribute. Starts off with a video of men on horseback riding. And by putting a soldier on a horse with a sword gives you that zeal to, to, to fight unlike the soldiers that we have in modern day history. An American soldier would not even dream of doing that now. They would prefer hide behind a wall, hide behind a stone, a mountain, and, and kill their opponents, they bomb them from the skies. There was a lot of atrocities that was taking place all over the world against all Muslim brothers and sisters. We saw the illegal war that took place in Iraq in 2004, and the Americans went in there and they, they killed Muslims. So when ISIS came on the scene, and I saw what ISIS was doing, they're doing something to defend the Muslims. You see this one here, this image here with this Soldier holding a gun in his hands, the AK-47. And um, it has some writing next to it. The sword is a, a must, and jihad is a must. Anything less than the weapon will neither be of any use. Propaganda like this may be ISIS's most powerful weapon. And it's being targeted directly at those most susceptible to believing it. Those looking for a new reality. Even though I had a very comfortable life in Trinidad, I, there was something that it's, it, it's telling me that, you know, I don't belong in this place. I started to understand, you know, that fighting is something that has been prescribed upon Muslims, you know. So why are Muslims seeking to live comfortable when Allah has commanded us to spread this religion and this religion is spread by fighting? It was an inviting thought that perhaps we need to go fight with ISIS, we need to support them, and we'll be able to fight the um, occupying forces and establish the Caliphate once more again. I mean, you're coming into our country, and you're creating havoc and chaos, and the Muslims are the victims. American intervention in the Middle East is a rallying cry for violent extremist organizations. And with no end in sight for U.S. troops in the region, the vicious cycle is bound to continue. <laughs>